Okay, super quick. Today, Youngblood has sort of dropped a new song. Either way, I've heard a pretty clear version of it. The song isn't officially out now, but in London there's an event where he's got the low-life car and he's playing it through the speaker. I've heard the audio. I can give a at least a first reaction to the song. Definitely is going towards that 21st century liability sort of sound. The like layered voices. I mean, I know he's got an album called Weird. The weirder sound towards the songs. The word I can use to describe it is vibey. Think sort of uh, Voices by KSI and Oliver Tree, but good. Like think of that song, but better. It's got that same sort of. Whoever else is on the song, I can't place it, but her voice is really, really nice. I don't even know if it is a woman or if it it's just Youngblood's voice with some sort of distortion on it. I have no idea. I have enjoyed the song. The thing I beg, I fucking adore Youngblood's self-titled album. I do not want another soft Youngblood album, at least for a bit. I love his beautiful songs. Some of my favourite songs are things like uh, It's Quiet in Beverly Hills, Love Song, Teresa, Sweet Heroin. Proper beautiful song. We've had two albums of that now. Now is time to go back to punk Youngblood. And Low Life's a... It's a step in the right direction. But I want, like, original me Youngblood back. I want brain dead i want 21st century liability i want something like that last vocal on freak show i want loner back i want punk young blood back and this song it does feel like a step in the right direction but i really hope this is a teaser for what's to come like i want some fucking insane stuff but overall the song yeah vibey i like it I really do like it. It's a very easy listening song. I think it's perfect to sort of hype up an album in a similar way that The Funeral was for his self-titled one. It set the pace, whereas now the next song I think needs to be full on hype. Uh, overall, this song so far, I will like give a second opinion when I've heard the official release of it, I think is a good Younger song. It's solid. Which is a good start, to have a solid song, not to have something that comes out and is a bit stinky and gets you like, oh, I'm not really sure. I'm sure it's amazing listening to it in the car. That experience, it's, I see why he's hyped it up. It's very interactive. It's a very unique way to play a song for fans. Like, it's, it's brilliant. It's a very Youngblood thing. But I really hope we get what Youngblood is. Loud, in your face, obnoxious, just... Please, just energy. We need energy. We got a bit of it on weird things like Super Dead Friends, but I think this album, I think the production would be better. Like, you hear Super Dead Friends, yes, it's loud, it's in your face and all that sort of stuff. It's not the best produced song. Like, you, there's parts where it does just sound really mushy. Then you go back to things like uh, Bay with Bring the Horizon, excellently produced, very in your face, very loud on the heavier side. Like, Youngblood is perfectly capable, so all I'm gonna say is, take it away. This song is a fucking great start to what I'm sure will be another great album. Enjoyable song, can't wait to hear the official release, but these are just my first thoughts. I'm not hating at all, obviously, I'm just skeptical because I want, I want Youngblood to do amazing. I want him to be worth the hype that we give him. And I also want people that hate him to go, you know what, fair, he's done a fucking good song. Let's go, big up Youngblood. In the world of normal people, I'm a monkey it's Painted on the face of the thing that I'm a chunky The way that I dress, the people I met The way I express, the things in my head I don't go to the bar, I sit in the dark